I spoke with Cuba's new ambassador to the U.S., Jose Ramon Cabanas, who gave, it, gave us his thoughts on Castro's reform push. I, we have to say that first, uh, all those measures have been taken after a process in which uh, most of our population have participated. I mean, Raul Castro as, as our president, but also Fidel Castro as our historical leader. Uh, those measures were approved in the last party Congress after a process in which uh, most of our population participated, uh, uh, provided arguments, ideas, and all of, them, all of them were taken into consideration. I think as an example that we in Cuba, and I understand it's also the, the experience in China, we go through consensus. I mean, we are not interested in having minorities imposing uh, ideas on minorities. We are able to work out a, a consensus, and uh, that, that's the way we, we did it. Uh, in regards to China, you know, uh, as we do, that uh, we have permanent contacts. Uh, we say that uh, the relationship between China and Cuba is an example for the world a large economy like, like yours and, and a small third world uh, country. We, uh, we don't have a day uh, without a, a Cuban delegation visiting Beijing or a Chinese delegation visiting uh, Havana. We uh, have signed recently a lot of uh, bilateral agreements in different sectors. Uh, I think where Cuba have uh, to offer the most is uh, in, in biotechnology, uh, tourism, some fields in, in agriculture, informatics, I mean, we, we have, and those are priorities also for China, but our bilateral relations are, are, are um, established on several documents that our, our two governments have uh, signed. Uh, we uh, look for the better in the future. You are already, I mean, China is the second largest uh, partner uh, for Cuba in, in trade. And, and again, it's, it's an example. Uh, we look forward for, for new opportunities, and we have the, the possibility of sharing them. We agree with China also in several uh, issues of in foreign policy. We believe in the one China principle. Uh, we live in, 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 the, in the policy that China unfold uh, regarding uh, non-aligned uh, countries, third world countries, and, and the, the way China helps and supports uh, development in several uh, places in the world. Let's talk about another big trading partner here in the United States. Um, President Obama in his first term uh, has taken some steps to address some issues re related to Cuba, lifting travel restrictions and also lifting some financial transactions, for example, remittances back to Cuba. What topics would you like to address with the President and the administration for this next term? Well, uh, Phil, uh, regarding remittances uh, and travel, what the Obama administration did in the first term was to correct that something that the previous administration, I mean the, the Bush administration, did wrong. Among other things, uh, to correct the, the concept of family, because among other things, the Bush administration defined, I mean, it's the, the only uh, time ever happens that the government defines someone uh, what the, the concept of family encompasses. Now, regarding tra transactions in, in, in a broader sense, regrettably, the first term, uh, term of the Obama administration uh, uh, had the, the record of penalties against foreign companies doing business uh, with Cuba, and basically banks. And just the, yesterday and the day before, uh, we saw two new measures against foreign banks doing business with Cuba, who are paying now penalties uh, for that, uh, for those uh, businesses. For the second term, I think that the, the expectations could come uh, from, the, from the U.S. population. I mean, uh, the, the policy towards Cuba has no sense. Uh, it's a failed policy. It has been so for 50 or 4 years. The United States has invested a lot of money to carry out that, that policy. We say that if you were able to took all that money uh, to correct uh, now that policy, probably they, they will have the fiscal cliff because it's too much money that has been invested in order to stop uh, our project. But again, it's failed. And hopefully, in the near future, the, the American government will represent better 
the will of their people to enhance and normalize uh, links uh, with Cuba.